Hello, so in this video, I will be teaching you how to convert from nanometers to megameters by using the unit prefixes table. First, before I begin, I will be talking about the unit prefixes. So as you see here, I have written down the symbols of the prefixes. So T stands for tera, G stands for giga, M stands for mega, K stands for kilo, D stands for deci, C stands for centi, lowercase m stands for milli, mu stands for micro, n stands for nano, and p stands for pico. And next to each symbol is the corresponding scientific notation, which will be, which we will be implementing into our conversion factors from nanometers to megameters. So before we begin, I highly recommend writing the number or the initial value that you have at first and then writing the unit that you want to find at the end so you can make sure that you're properly crossing out any conversions or if you can see if you're missing any conversions. Next, you want to write a conversion plan to make sure that you're following the steps needed to properly convert from nanometers to megameters. So in this plan, we originally start with nanometers. So we can't really convert directly from nanometers to megameters because it just is not appropriate and right. So you would have to first convert from nanometers to meters and then from meters to megameters. So since we need to convert from nanometers to meters, we would write our conversion factor as having meters at the top because we're trying to look for meters. And to cancel out properly, we have to have nanometers at the bottom. So this properly cancels out. Next, we are going to convert from meters to megameters. So we need to have meters at the denominator or the bottom and megameters in the numerator at the top because that's what we're looking for. So therefore, these cancel out and now we have the unit of megameters that we needed. So now we put in our units based from the unit prefixes chart. So as you can see here, we have the prefix nano, which is n, and n is 10 to the negative 9. However, when you put in the scientific notations within the conversions, the exponent is always positive. Regardless of what it is on the chart, it's always positive when you're inputting it into your conversions. So, meter is bigger than nanometer. As you can see, nano is 10 to negative 9, and meter would be bigger. So, the bigger unit would always have a 1, and nanometer, which is 10 to the negative 9, but the exponent is always positive, would be 10 to the 9th instead. The same thing goes for the megameter over meter. Mega meter, mega, is 10 to the 6, so it would be bigger. Therefore, it would have a 1. And the prefix mega is 10 to the 6. And it's already positive, so we just input it as it is at the denominator. So after you input in your values, you divide 8.30 by 10 to the 9th, and then divide that answer by 10 to the 6th in your calculator. As you can see here, we have done that, and our answer would be 8.3 times 10 to the negative 15. So after let me just write that down to negative 15 megameters. However, don't forget your significant figures. We have started with three significant figures here, so we need to end with three significant figures here. So this would be 8.30 times 10 to the negative 15. Oop, sorry there, to the negative 15 megameters. And that is how you convert from nanometers to megameters by using the unit prefixes chart. 